from battling the horrors of World War II to transforming the geospatial industry, Shunji Murai has done and seen it all. Every day, Tokyo was attacked by American bombers. It's a very difficult time. And always, I felt hungry. My dream to eat until I die. Murai defeated all odds to complete education and then took up rowing. I belong to the rowing club in University of Tokyo. Then we are selected to the Rome Olympic Games in 1960. Sadly, the Japanese team were the last. 21-year-old Murai decided to broaden his horizons. As recommended by his professor, he started studying photogrammetry. It was during this time where he got a chance to visit the United States. I was very surprised. They had the original idea of the GPS and also remote sensing. At that time, nobody in Japan challenged the remote sensing. Morai came back and took it up as a passion. He's studying the aspects of meaningful use of satellite data. He set it up the Asian Conference on Remote Sensing, I think in 1980 or so. He has been main force behind and his idea was to bring all the communities involved in the remote sensing. He organized the first Asian Conference of Remote Sensing in Bangkok in 1980. I went to the China and India to advertise our Asian Conference. The mission was very clear from the beginning. For Asians, by Asians, and with Asians. The real change came when he was elected the president of ISPRS in 1992. At the beginning, uh, Western country never uh, pay attention to Asian Conference of Remote Sensing. After I became the president, I advertised the Asian Conference of Remote Sensing. To his single-minded dedication, commitment and enthusiasm has built the Asian community of remote sensing professionals. Today, AARS has over 29 member countries. Murai often funds participants through his own pocket. Professor Murai has published over 50 books and at 77 still likes to keep himself busy. He is now working on an earthquake prediction tool. Completely new and unique as compared with the existing the seismic science. This is a really good method and the correctness is almost 70-80%. His historical background is enormous. He is a great asset in this field and I only hope and pray that he has good health and long life.